up everyone peace yes so today i'm going to be showing you guys some breakfast ideas for school yay and um i'm sorry my eyes are like they look really weird i promise you i did not just wake up i woke up like five hours ago but anyways yeah let's get into the video <laughs> So first you're going to take your mango and you're going to slice it on the side because there is a seed in the middle so that's just why you're not going to slice it right in the middle. But then once you have cut it, you're going to take that mango slice and you're just going to use your knife and cut it vertically and horizontally and my lines weren't very even but this is just going to give you cubes so it's easier to eat and if you have a different technique of cutting your mango then go ahead and do that you don't have to follow mine but then you're just going to pop the mango out and you're going to take your knife and you're just going to cut the cubes off and I discovered that if you actually cut it from the side like this um, it'll come off easier and now you're just going to take your mango and you are going to slice off the other side just so you don't waste it and this is only if you want more of the mango which you will because it is so yummy and so addicting so now that you're done um, I just got a plastic bag or you could use a ziploc but um, this is just so it's more kind of like on the go and it's easier to just grab out of the freezer. So now I'm just going to use my hands and just literally pick up the mangoes and put it in the plastic bag. But if you're much more neater, then you can use like a knife and like scrape it into the plastic bag if that's easier and a better choice for you. Then once I'm done with that, I'm just going to seal my bag and I'm going over to the freezer and I'm just going to put that in there and wait for it to freeze. And then the next morning, I got up and I was so excited for some frozen mango and if cutting the mango is too hard for you then feel free to just freeze grapes instead. So now moving on, I know that this is a super common recipe but it is so healthy. So first um, I'm taking some vanilla yogurt but it can be any yogurt of your choice. Then I'm taking strawberries, kiwi, and a plum. And now I'm just taking my yogurt and I'm using an ice cream scooper and I'm just putting as much yogurt as I want and this is actually too much yogurt for me but whatever. And then I took my kiwi and I'm just chopping off the ends and I did go a little deep into one of the kiwis so yeah. And now I'm taking a spoon and I'm just going under the skin. I recommend that if you have a smaller spoon it would be much easier because I had a really big spoon. But now I am just taking the skin and I am peeling it off. Now I'm just taking my knife and I'm slicing my kiwi and it doesn't matter how big you want your pieces to be, I cut mine pretty small. And then yeah, that's it for the kiwi. And now you're just going to gather it and put it into your yogurt. And now moving on to strawberries, I used two strawberries. And the first thing that you want to do is, of course, wash them. So I actually forgot to wash my strawberries once, and it's really bad. But now I'm going back to the cutting board, and I'm just going to chop off the stems of the strawberries. Once I'm done with that, I'm just going to start slicing my strawberries into really small chunks because I just like it that way. And that's it for the strawberries. Now moving on to the plum. You're going to wash the plum also. And then I am just cutting off one side of the plum. And I'm just going to cut this into really small pieces. And that is it for the yogurt. But as you can see, there is still a lot of plum on my plum. So I don't want to waste that. So I have a dog and she loves fruit. So I am just going to cut some fruit for her. So for the egg in a cup, you'll need baguette, vegetable oil, and an egg. And let's get started. 
So first, I'm just going to grab my pan. And now I'm just going to add some vegetable oil. And I have my sister help me out with this one because I had trouble staying on task. But now I'm getting my baguette and I'm just going to cut as much as I want for the cup, as you would call. And um, it was kind of hard for me to get all like the bread out of the thing. So I actually had to use my fingers and get the bread out. And at one point I used the knife, which is really dangerous, I know, but I got really frustrated with myself. So yeah, but in the end it worked out and I got a majority of everything out of the bread. Now it's time to break the egg, and I just broke it, but I'm really bad at cracking eggs. So now I'm taking a whisk, and I'm just mixing all of the egg together. So now I'm just pouring half of the egg onto the pan, and this is just in case you mess up with your scrambled eggs. I mean, I did, so I had to save like half the egg. But now I'm just scrambling my eggs because that's how I like them best. And yeah, now I'm just adding some salt just to give it some flavor. And actually, this idea was based off of eggs in a basket, but it was really hard for me and my sister to like flip over the egg and stuff, so I just went with egg in a cup. Now I'm just taking my ice cream scooper because it's the easiest to scoop out the egg and I'm just putting it into my baguette and in the end it looks super cool, super creative and it's actually really good. Okay so that is it, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did please do give it a thumbs up and yeah that is it, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye! Cool! I already put a new batch of mangoes in the freezer. So, while we're waiting for those to dry, I thought that I would film. Don't look at me. Go away! You can't even see it! Vanilla looks like a corn! A piece of corn! Okay, so where do I go now? I don't even know what to do.